is a continuation of our DriveView 9 series. For more videos on the DriveView 9 software, click the link in the description box below or click the I at the top right corner of the screen. This video will be about reading and writing parameters. Now that we have successfully connected to the drive, hit the Parameter Read button at the top. You will most likely select the check mark next to Parameters so that you can read all parameters. You will see some progress bars go across the screen for each parameter group as it performs its read. This may take a minute. Once finished, a reading completed window will pop up. Click OK to proceed. All parameters are organized into groups just like they are on the keypad. For example, let's click the DRV group. If you have any parameter changes that are different from default, those will be listed in blue. To change a parameter, double click and make the change. For example, if you want to change the acceleration time, double click acceleration time and type in your value. Then click right. Once completed, it will say parameter written. You can also skip to the next or previous parameters by pressing the left and right arrows. Another method for changing parameters quickly is to simply click the parameter and change its value. Do so for each parameter that you wish to change, and then click the parameter right button to change all at once. Check only the groups that you're changing to speed up the writing process. Once you change and write all the various parameters, it is important that you click the EEPROM button. This button will save the parameters to non-volatile memory so that the changes will still be there after a power cycle to the drive. If you do not click the EEPROM button, you will lose all the parameters once the VFD loses power. After you have set your desired values, you should also save the project. Another nice feature is the report function. When you click the report button at the top of the screen, you get this pop-up that displays all the parameters. This report can be exported as a spreadsheet or saved as a PDF. You can also customize this report in the report settings to show the company name information. This report can also be printed and kept as a backup for your parameters. One more function you might find useful is the offline mode. You can set parameters offline and connect the drive at a later time. To do so, Create a new project, select the correct drive and compatible version, and then set your desired parameter values and save the project. Then when you click the drive, open the Save Project, click the Parameter Write button and click the EEPROM Save button. This makes startups quick and efficient. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions, please call or email us via the methods listed on screen. For more videos on the DriveView 9 software, you can find a link in the description box below to our DriveView 9 playlist or click the I in the top right corner of the screen.